We are so glad to have Mel Cruz here with us, and it is an annual tradition that draws in millions of people every single year to the Wabash Valley. We're talking about the Covered Bridge Festival. Tell us a little bit about it, Mel. Well, I'm here to represent Tangier, where we have the buried beef in the ground. Absolutely. The buried beef was started over 40 years ago. We have a pit in the ground where we burn wood all day and then cover it with sand and put the beef in and cover that with a lid and then sand and leave it 14 hours and when it comes out it's delicious. Oh that sounds good. How long has that been happening? Over 40 years, about wow. 43 years wow. I think. Wow, wow, wow. So okay that's just one of the many parts of it that goes along with it. Which group uh, comes together to do that? The Tangier Community Tangier Club. Community. And really, it's not really a club. We don't have any membership dues. <laughs> just everybody in the community pitches in. It's a way we maintain a community building and, and a community ground, a playground for the kids. And the uh, fire department, we help them out some in that area. And then also, we do other things. Like right now, we've got a monument marked there to be opened next year that was built in 1916. Wow. And it's got a time capsule in it. Everybody says, what's in the time capsule? And we'd like to know just as well as anybody <laughs> else. We, we know what was put in it somewhat, but we don't know what's in it now. That's fantastic. So one more time, when is that going to be open? Uh, my, May the 21st of 2016 okay. is when the okay. time capsule will be open. Okay, so this is just one of the many events that are going to be happening at the right. Park County Covered Bridge Festival. Just talk about why that event is so important to the community. Well, it, it was started as a way for the community to make more money, mm -hmm. uh, the whole community. And it's growing really by leaps and bounds in some area. We're probably the closest to the traditional way it started with everybody. Not only we have the buried beef, we have a pavilion where we have a lady who grew up in our community that paints out there and people make handcraft stuff to sell. They make homemade cookies and goodies to sell like that. So we're probably the closest to the original. We don't have any big flea markets. Well, I tell you, it's the tradition and it's the spirit of the Covered Bridge Festival right here. You want to find out more information, all of that info is on your screen. Oh boy, Mel, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. No Appreciate problem. it. Stay